हेलो एवरीबॉडी वेलकम टू आईसीटीएस प्रिडिक्टिव लर्निंग मॉड्यूल द कोर्स बैकग्राउंड इज टू हैव ए बेसिक फोकस ऑन अंडरस्टैंडिंग हाउ न्यूरल नेटवर्क्स वर्क एंड लर्निंग हाउ दे कैन बी अप्लाइड टू रियल वर्ल्ड सिनेरियोज सिग्निफिकेंस ऑफ द कोर्स प्रोफेशनल्स विथ ए सबस्टैंशियल अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ डिस्क्रिट मैथमेटिक्स प्रोबेबिलिटी and statistics are desired this course has been designed to support the participants to develop domain specific competencies to leverage dynamic aspects of artificial intelligence today's topic is neural networks and deep learning overview the goal of understanding is what convolutional neural networks components are and intuitions behind it brief motivation for deep learning deep learning is a kind of representation learning in which there are multiple levels of features these features are automatically discovered and they are composed together in the various levels to produce the output each level represents abstract or hidden features that are discovered from the features represented in the previous level hence the level of abstraction increases with each level more about features will be discussed in further slides this type of learning enables discovering and representing higher level abstractions in neural networks the multiple layers correspond to multiple levels of features these multiple layers use these features to produce output this will be discussed in details in subsequent slides what are convnets convolutional neural networks are very similar to ordinary neural networks they are made up of neurons that have learnable weights and biases each neuron receives some inputs performs a dot product and optionally follows it with a nonlinearity convnets are for object detection convnets are used extensively in object detection using images or videos some examples include but are not limited to self driving cars face recognition medical image processing for cancer detection etc first of all let's understand what is deep learning composition of nonlinear transformation of the data the goal is to learn useful representations also known as features directly from data many varieties can be supervised or unsupervised this learning module is about convnets which is a supervised deep learning method let's first recap neural networks before we move to convnets in this figure this black box represents a layer x is the input to the layer y is output of the layer x i y i i from 1 to p this is our training data set let's move on to some examples so you can understand this better supervised learning these are the examples classification simply is putting into categories neural networks have the capacity to recognize differentiate and understand images as you can see our nn recognizes dog in the image and output is given as dog similarly regression is another supervised learning technique which can be used to remove noisy data from images that is de noising more on this will be discussed in our image segmentation tutorials structured prediction is a learning technique that involves predicting structured objects like numbers neural networks are widely used for optical character recognition or ocr next is moving to deep learning 
as you can see in the images we increased our hidden units or layers from one to many the utility of doing this is that it greatly improves the accuracy of our neural networks and helps in making better predictions however keep in mind that increasing the number of layers also increases the amount of computation resources required so decision of choosing the number of layers should be made wisely now deep learning is about learning feature representation in a compositional manner but wait why learn features let's move on to understand what layers actually do the black box in a traditional recognition approach these hidden layers can be used for pre processing of data which is basically removing unnecessary data before we feed it to our network extraction of features can be done using techniques like hog shift etc post processing includes selection of relevant features out of the features that has been extracted finally a classifier function is used to make predictions so selection of features is most critical for accuracy also it is most time consuming in development then the problem arises what will be the best feature what is next keep on crafting for best features solution is to learn feature representation directly from data learn features and classify together using deep networks learn an end to end recognition system a nonlinear map that takes raw pixels directly to the levels how can we build such a highly nonlinear system by combining simple building blocks we can make more and more complex systems building a complicated function proposal 1 is to feed raw pixel values represented by a gray box to a node or a layer proposal 2 is to join these nodes or layers sequentially to make a network each of box is a feature detector and a simple nonlinear function building a complicated function on the left hand side we have to set of very simple functions which most of you must be familiar with like sin x cos x log x x cube e raised to x etc we can use these simple functions to make a complicated function like log of cos of e raised to sin cube x composition is at the core of deep learning methods each simple function will have parameters subject to learning now intuition behind deep neural nets we can see the car and let's understand how deep neural nets work with the help of an example as you can see an image of car is fed into the system note each black box can have trainable parameters their composition makes a highly nonlinear system the final layer outputs a probability distribution of categories the category or class with the highest probability is the prediction of the image by the system a simple single layer neural network consists of a linear combination of input through a nonlinear function w is the weight parameter to be learned x is the output of the previous layer or input to the current layer b is called a bias term which helps in better learning of the layer this operation is stored in z f is a simple nonlinear function popular choice is max x comma 0 called relu rectified linear unit which outputs x if number is greater than 0 or 0 otherwise the output of layer is stored in a
let's understand how a layer works mathematically suppose we have four data points x1 x2 x3 and x4 this can be represented in a one cross four matrix called an input vector we also have w1 w2 w3 w4 as weights associated with each data point this can be represented in a one cross four matrix as well and we will call it a weight vector now we multiply our input vector which is one cross four we transpose of weight vector so four cross one to produce f which will be a one cross one matrix or vector a nonlinear function like relu is applied to this f to produce an output neuron h this whole operation is summed up in the first image let's test this out in python we will be using jupyter notebook for this tutorial import numpy as np x is equal to np dot dot array then point five minus one minus two one point five w is equal to np dot random dot rand n bracket one comma four we initialized our weight vector using a random distribution as you can see our input vector x is a one cross four matrix and also w our weight matrix is one cross four two now f is equal to np dot dot x comma w dot transpose within bracket this will multiply both the matrices and it will store in f now let's introduce some nonlinearity h is equal to np dot maximum f comma zero let's print all this to see what happens using print command this is the print command and now see you run and the output comes if it's positive then our output stores this value this is the value that we obtain now joint training architecture overview note multi layer neural nets with more than two layers are nowadays called deep nets next user must specify number of layers number of hidden units type of layers and loss function in this video we have covered an introduction to neural networks and saw how a layer in a neural network works in sequence to form the deep neural networks hope you enjoyed learning next video will focus more on convolutional neural networks meanwhile if you have any queries don't hesitate to revert thank you